welcome to the preview of the Online Stress Summit 2018. And prepare yourself for the future. Now, my question to you is, how did you really get interested into this digitalization and the future and uh, how it is going to influence us? Um, I've always been a, a tech entrepreneur. I was tech savvy, uh, laced gadgets and stuff. So I was interested in that era. But a couple of years ago, um, uh, my daughter was born and my daughter had a terminal diagnosis. She had a very rare genetic disorder and the doctors couldn't help us any further. So we were forced to find our own solution to save her life. And then I start to dive into how biology works, how cells within your body work. And I start to look in a more holistic way towards health and towards the human body. And what I found out is that the human body is a community of 37 trillion cells that work together in a harmonic, uh, coherent way. And what I found out is that these cells are able to communicate with each other. And they use their cell membrane to do that. And that's exactly how people are communicating with each other. We use our cell membrane. And with the speed of light, we communicate emotions and feelings with each other. And the verbal part is only 50%. And cells do basically the same. And these kind of insights brought me to uh, um, a solution, a clinical trial that we tried on our daughter. And eventually, it saved our lives. She's today seven years old, and she's doing great. Wow. But it also gave me some insights in how cells are using biological systems to create organisms, uh, to solve problems. And what I found out is that there uh, is an exact match between how cells use biology to build organisms and how humans use technology to build organizations. And when I dive deeper in these subjects and, and I researched more, uh, I found out that there are specific wave patterns of disruption, seven disruptive waves in biology but also in technology and then i started to find out that uh, we are walking the same path as cells uh, but now it's a couple of million years later but we are walking through the same part it's exponentially going faster and that sparked my interest for the future because if that path is the same then we can predict